Now listen, this video right here is for all the people in the world that don't really like their vegetables, but the roasted vegetables are a great way to change your mind. You can use any vegetable that you like. Today, we're showing you the ones that we have on hand, but it's going to be just as good. And we're going to make a balsamic honey glaze that's going to go on top. Y'all heard it. So let me go ahead and show y'all what we're going to use today. We have a bag of Brussels sprouts. Okay. A bag of baby carrots. Two sweet onions. Some mushrooms. And we're going to make some roasted garlic right along with it. Now, if you want to throw in some potatoes or if you have some green peppers or you got some string beans, broccoli, cauliflower, listen, the, the list goes on and on. Go ahead and make it the same way. We're going to show you how to do it. And I'm telling you, your guests, your family will love it. So while we do that, we're going to go ahead and prep our vegetables. And now what makes the roasted vegetables amazing is that it's so customizable. So if you don't like Brussels sprouts like how we use them today, you don't have to use Brussels sprouts. You can just use your favorite vegetables and call it a day. There we go. But if you want to introduce yourself to something that you don't normally like on a regular basis, I would suggest you trying it this way first. Now, if y'all never had Brussels sprouts before, you're just going to go ahead and take the root part off because you don't want that. And we're just going to cut it in half. They baby cabbages. That's all you got to do. Going to get everything rinsed off. And the other important thing is you want to cut everything the same size because as these cook in the oven, the main thing, we're cooking it on high heat so it can roast. But you want everything to cook at the same time so you don't want to have these cut super big and then you're going to have your other vegetables cut super small some of these you can cut more than one like this one is really big so we're going to cut that again look make sure you don't get your end pieces mixed up with the regular pieces so let me go ahead and throw those away before they be in the pile and that ain't going to be a good thing y'all now, one thing with these Brussels sprouts, you just got to do a little quality control. So, if these leaves look like this, how it's kind of, you know, brown, just go ahead and remove it off that front layer because you don't want that. Y'all, presentation is key. So, make sure they look nice and cute. So, that way, in the end, they won't be looking, you know, burnt. All right. So, once I go ahead and get them cut up, we're going to go ahead and put them right in the strainer so we can go ahead and rinse them off and get them ready for the for the goodness all right so we can go ahead and set this to the side and we'll go ahead and work on the carrots all right so now we're gonna go ahead and work on these carrots let's go ahead and put them right on the tray matter of fact you can just go ahead and put them right in the strainer so they can be washed but i still like to go through them because sometimes they'll have these little dark spots on them so i just like to cut the ends off of them just to make it look a little better so just go through the whole bag, you guys, and if any ends need to be cut off, just go ahead and cut them off. Now for your onion, you're going to cut it into like quarter size pieces. So just going to cut the end off like you normally would. These not going to be too small at all because again, you want everything to be the same size. Alright, now when you cut these onions, you're going to cut them like boom. One. And two. You're going to cut it just like that the whole way through. Because y'all don't want them to be too small where they burn. But you want them to be big enough where you can see them afterwards. Because y'all know when you roast things and cook them in the oven, they shrink down. So that's the whole point. We cutting it like this. And that's it. So now let's go ahead and put this together. We're going to go ahead and just add our onion. Since we already just cut those up. This is the wash carrots and the brussels sprouts let's go ahead and add those now it don't look like that much when you had it sitting by itself but once you start adding everything to the pan it started looking like it's something versus nothing right next you're going to add in your mushrooms bam now this is the optional part we have these whole cloves of garlic, and I really want to go ahead and make sure we use these up. So we're going to go ahead and use these today. But if you don't have the fresh garlic, go ahead right on in with your minced garlic. That's going to be just as good. Mm -hmm. 
The only thing I'm going to do with these garlics is just cut the ends off because you don't really want that part on there. But other than that, we're just going to throw it right up in there. Now listen, we haven't even started roasting these vegetables yet. And it looks amazing already. Now this is also optional. I have some bacon grease right here. Because you need some oil that you're going to coat these vegetables with. If you don't have any bacon grease, just go in with some regular oil. I just got finished frying some bacon. So I'm going to go ahead and use that up. Why not, right? We got some onion powder. Just going to add some of that. Just a nice little coating. Some white pepper. I've been real obsessed with white pepper lately versus black pepper. They both taste good, but white pepper has a, a different taste to it. What y'all think? Now, although we added that fresh garlic, I know I'm going to still add my little touch of... That's the oven heating up. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use some of this Silent Supreme up too. It's for vegetables. I'm tired of looking at it. I want to go ahead and use it up on as many things as I can. Y'all know how it is. Some seasonings you don't use every day. So, you got to find a reason to use it. So, that's what we're going to use right here. But if you don't have this, this is fine. It's not going to make a big deal if you don't. And a little bit of salt. And that's it, y'all. Just sprinkle it one good time with your salt and that's it now out of everything we did just now this is the most important part because you don't want to disturb the vegetables too much especially those cauliflower and them onions because we're trying to make them stay in that original shape as much as possible so we're gonna go ahead and with a spatula and pretty much just go in and flip it and make sure all your vegetables is coated in that oil because oh my goodness why is everything just falling out <laughs> and you want to make sure everything is nice and coated and lathered up because that's what's going to help them roast in the oven and not have them looking all dry looking when they come out and the other most important thing is use a good pan, a non-stick pan, something where, you know, as these cook and you go to flip it, they're not going to be sticking to the pan. I think that's probably the number one thing is use a good pan, y'all. So now we can go ahead and put these nice looking vegetables in the oven. I set the timer for 25 minutes. We'll be back. Now we're going to go ahead and start making the best part other than the vegetables is the balsamic honey glaze. This is the balsamic vinegar that we're using today. We've made this on the channel before. I'll go ahead and post a video for that recipe above. We'll go ahead and add the whole thing of this vinegar. It will be smart to go ahead and take this part off so I don't got to keep, you know, pouring it like this. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's better. Now, the one thing with this balsamic vinegar is going to get strong in the house. So, you want to make sure you have a window open because... It's going to blow your socks off and everybody else in the house is going to be like, Ooh, what's that smell? Because that fumes. But man, oh man, it is delicious. Now to sweeten this vinegar up, you got to go in with some honey. That's like the best thing to use for this. And I pretty much use one bottle of honey to one bottle of vinegar. And the good thing is, you're not going to use this whole balsamic vinegar mix for your vegetables tonight, but you can keep it in the refrigerator. So the next time you do have some vegetables or something that you want to use that vinegar for, this will already be ready. All you're going to do is just stir this up, literally. That's all you have to do. Two ingredients. We're going to let this come up to a boil and then turn it down low, let it reduce, and it's going to look just like this, y'all. Ooh, they got my eyes, y'all. I can feel that little burn. But as soon as it starts coming up to a boil, it's starting to look just like this. You're going to go ahead and cut your pan down to a nice low simmer so your soles won't burn. So, 25 minutes in the oven on 400. This is what your vegetables is going to look like. You got a little bit of liquid. That's from the oil and the mushrooms. Now you want to go ahead and flip it. You want to flip them halfway through. So... I'm going to go ahead and do just like that. And y'all can see everything is still holding its shape nice and good. Okay. 
Now, make sure when you flip your Brussels sprouts, you get enough, you know, oil and moisture inside them so they won't get dried out because, you know, that's not going to be too good. You want anything that tastes good and flavorful. So now we're going to go ahead and bump up the heat so it can get that roast flavor on it. So I'm going to turn the oven up to 425 for another 10, 15 minutes and they should be good. Y'all look how good this balsamic glaze look. Now you know it's done because when you do like this, you can see the streak in the pan. See how long it take for that streak to go back? That's how you know it's done. Now you can go ahead and put it in whatever dish you wanna serve them up in. Just gonna go ahead and use this dish right here. Y'all notice that nothing is sticking to the pan. Those Brussels sprouts stayed intact. Those garlics look good. Hold on, okay, hold on. Y'all, so that's how it looks. That looks amazing. You see the mushrooms, the Brussels sprouts, the carrots. We showed you the roasted garlic right there. Now let me show y'all what's the perfect thing to put your balsamic vinegar into is these little plastic containers right here that come with a top because as soon as you finish with your sauce, you know you're going to need something to put it into. And the longer this sit, it's going to get more thicker and more delicious. And then that way, you know, we can just use what we want tonight and then the rest is going to stay in the refrigerator. So if y'all want to get some of these, go ahead and click on our Amazon link. It's right in the description box. The first link at the top. You'll be able to go ahead and get your, you know, container just like this. Okay? It's so good. Y'all see how this sauce thing came out? See how thick it is? It's on a spoon. That's exactly what you want. And then all you're going to do is just drizzle it. Like, look at this. Look at him. <laughs> hey, come on here, Sam. Yes. And just drizzle mm. it right on top, though. Okay. Mm, that's good. Mm -hmm. You don't need a lot, you know, just to show. Well, it sounds like it's time for Dad to eat. Boy. All right, y'all. So there go those roasted vegetables with that balsamic glaze y'all will love this your family will enjoy this your guests will enjoy this we're gonna be back tomorrow for another video so make sure y'all stay tuned for every vlogmas video we put out all right see you later see y'all later is it good mm -hmm. <laughs> it is good like it's your vegetables yeah it's crushing these vegetables Look, did you see what you taste so far? Because you don't even know what I put in here, so. It's got onions, uh -huh. carrots, mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Right? That's it, right? No. What's that right there? Oh, it's Brussels sprouts in there. No, that right there. Oh, it's garlic. Mm hmm. Put the little whole cart of cloves in it. Bells on Bob Tail Ring, making spirits bright.